Richard and Penny Sandora have been making their living farming on two acres of land in the southern Adirondacks for over 25 years. Why is the Glens Falls Farmers Market so important to the community? Besides having fresh foods grown locally where you buy your food and the money stays right in the community rather than going to agribusiness or corporations somewhere. Uh, it's a social gathering. A lot of, you see a lot of uh, folks that just come there every week and a lot of times they won't be carrying packages. They're there just for the interaction, it's just a conversation. Uh, people who buy foods at the market, they can talk to their farmer. They, they can see how it's grown, when it's grown. We started out working for corporations, both Richard and I, and uh, decided that that wasn't what we wanted to do. Uh, so we kind of stuck our toe into this, uh, growing for restaurants originally, uh, and then branched out into doing craft fairs, and now we're doing more farmers markets, back to, back to doing more of the culinary herbs. And uh, it's worked out pretty well. We've been doing it since 86. Everything is just beginning to grow now. Um, you've got young plants happening. You, you have to take care of the, the garden beds, prepare them for planting later on. Uh, you get your seedlings going. Um, you know, if, if you lose a crop at this point, it really sets you back. The farmer's market has some of the best product available. You know, our vegetables are a higher grade, fresher than you can find anywhere else. Farmer's markets also are where a local community can support its local farmers. In addition, it's the only place where you can go and shop anymore where it is truly a community. The farmers are all there seeing each other and seeing their regular customers. The customers come down and going to market is what it used to be. You went to town and you met your neighbors and you met your friends and it's always useful to know where your food is coming from and who grew it. Funny how my memory slips from looking over manuscripts of unpublished rhyme. Drinking my vodka and lime. <laughs> Thinking of the Frankenstein. <laughs> fire bad, say fire bad. Who are the roots? <laughs> now, the farmer's market's a good place to keep certain people out of trouble. <laughs> Because people uh, are, are craving for uh, for things that are developed uh, originally and with great care, that are not on large large uh, industrial farms, but more kind of homegrown. <laughs> buy from the farmers rather than the local supermarket because you know where it came from you know you can trust that person um, they're going to be here next week 
Um, they're not going to give you something that's going to hurt you. They're eating it too. The Glens Falls Farmers Market offers EBT tokens, um, so people people on food stamps can use their cards at the market um, instead of going to the grocery store and buying um, the sugar products and, and anything else. You could get your breads, your produce um, from the market with your EBT card. I want local, as much local product in my house as possible. Um, I think, you know, we need to start going back to the way things used to be and living, you know, with what's in season and, um, you know, it's just a healthier way to live. about um, things that grow nearby and locally and so we have we have knowledge of, of where these things are coming from that's the best and where our food is coming from has become a major concern it's all fresh food it's probably just picked the day before you know you're not buying tomatoes that are picked uh, unripe and shipped across the country and you know and they're ripened they're not even ripe or um, a lot of the tomatoes you buy are just specifically produced to uh, travel well. They're not like the old varieties. Uh, I know one, one of our uh, members at the farmer's market actually was traveling behind a truck and saw a tomato fall off the back of the truck and it bounced. It didn't break. <laughs> That's her favorite story. How many billions of gallons of diesel fuel is wasted shipping products from faraway places that are otherwise grown within 100 miles from us. How many pesticides were used? How many nutrients were lost after being in transit for so long? Do we really need every vegetable invented available to us all year long? Major food recalls are becoming more and more commonplace. E. coli in produce imported from other countries, as well as from huge agribusinesses in the Midwestern United States, seems to make the news once a month. And not just isolated outbreaks, sometimes tons and tons of contaminated meat and produce is being recalled. Right now our largest crop is, uh, is garlic. It's planted in the fall and harvested in July. And it's, uh, people love it because now I guess, I think 70% I think of the garlic you buy in supermarkets is grown in China and these days do you trust anything grown in China? They don't have the regulations we do. Growth hormones in milk from the supersized dairies. Produce grown in countries that have no USDA or any other environmental standards whatsoever. So it all comes down to how important our diet is to us and to our families. Do you prefer to buy your poultry here? Or do you prefer to buy your poultry here? Would you like your steaks to come from there? Or would you like your steaks to come from here? Do you want your family to drink hormone-filled milk from there? Or naturally fresh milk from here? Shopping at your local farmer's market should be a no-brainer, especially with folks like these. But I get so excited to wake up every morning. You know, there's, there's not a morning that I'm lying in bed dreading the day ahead of me. There's always something new, something exciting going on. Um, it's, just, it's just a great, great work environment. So much fun, you're outside, you're producing healthy food, you get to interact with the people who are eating your food, and they're just so excited to be you know, there supporting you and eating all the wonderful things that we can provide for them. We just had this beautiful piece of property in Washington County, and we wanted to start by raising as much as we could ourselves, and it continued to grow.
know how your food is grown, where it's grown. And, uh, of course, you're not going to buy, be able to get toilet paper or uh, pineapples at the local farmers market. But what you do buy, you know, is only it's been grown locally and it's been picked the day before or that very morning that you're buying it.